Brendan Behan was an Irish poet, playwright and author who was remembered for his powerful writings that reflected the struggles and complexities of life in Ireland during the early 20th century. Born into a working class family in Dublin, Behan became a leading figure in the literary and political scenes in Ireland in the 1950s and 1960s. Known for his wit, intelligent and larger than life personality, he was often described as a charismatic and energetic individual who could captivate a room with his storytelling and humour. Bean was also known for his love of drinking, which was reflected in his work and personal life. Despite his struggles with alcoholism, Bean remained a beloved and respected figure in Irish literary circles throughout his life. Have you fully recovered from the uh, accident you had there recently in, in Dublin? <coughs> no, as a matter of fact, I died. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan Francis Aidan Bean, christened Francis Bean, Born on February the 9th, 1923, in Dublin, Ireland, to father Stephen Bean and mother Kathleen Bean, née Kearney. The Bean family originally lived in Dublin's north inner city on Russell Street near Mountjoy Square before moving to a newly built council house on Kildare Road in Crumlin, a suburb on the south side of the city, in 1937. Growing up in a working class neighbourhood, his early years were marked by poverty and political unrest. The Bean family were staunchly Republican and both his parents had participated in the Irish War of Independence and the Irish Civil War. He was exposed to Irish Republicanism and Socialist politics from a young age and he was deeply influenced by the political and social struggles of his time. Bean attended several different schools as a child but he struggled with formal education and was often in trouble with his teachers. Despite his difficulties in school, Bean was a ferocious reader and was particularly interested in Irish history and literature. Bean's early years were also marked by his love of theatre and his involvement in local drama groups. He began writing plays at a young age and was heavily influenced by the works of Irish playwrights such as Sean O'Casey and John Millington Singh. At the age of 16, Bean joined the Irish Republican Army, IRA, having joined the youth wing of the organisation the Fianna and the Heron at 14. He became involved in various acts of political activism including distributing propaganda and participating in raids and other acts of sabotage. Bean was also arrested several times for his activities, including for possession of explosives and conspiracy to murder, and he spent time in prison in both Ireland and England. Despite his troubled early years, Bean's experience as a political activist and his love of literature and theatre would shape his life and career as a writer. Bean's first play, The Queer Fellow, was produced in Dublin in 1954 and was an immediate success. The play which was set in a prison and focused on the impending execution of a prisoner was praised for its realistic portrayal of prison life and the moral complexities of capital punishment. The play was later produced in London and New York and established Bean as a leading playwright. Bean's next play, The Hostage, was produced in Dublin in 1958 and also dealt with political and moral issues. The play was set in a brothel in Dublin and involved the British soldier being held hostage by the IRA. The play was a critical and commercial success and further established Bean's reputation as a writer. Bean also wrote several novels including Borstle Boy which is based on his experience in a juvenile detention centre in England and The Scarborough which focused on the life of an Irish Republican terrorist. Bean's writing was known for its raw honesty and frank portrayal of social and political issues in Ireland. Despite his success as a writer, Bean struggled with personal demons throughout his life and he had a turbulent personal life and was known for his stormy relationships with women. His struggles with alcoholism also took its toll on his health and he suffered from liver disease and other related illnesses throughout his life. Brendan Bean died on March 20th, 1964 at the age of 41 from alcoholism related illnesses. Despite his relatively short life, Bean's work had a lasting impact on Irish literature and culture. His plays continue to be produced today and are seen as seminal works in the Irish theatrical tradition. Bean's writing is also noted for its influence on the Irish literary renaissance of the mid 20th century which saw a resurgence of interest in Irish language and culture. Brenda Bean was a prolific and influential writer whose work reflected the complexities and struggles of life in Ireland during the early 20th century. His plays and novels remain popular today and continue to inspire and inform new generations of Irish writers and artists. Bean's legacy is that of a writer who fearlessly tackled difficult social and political issues and remains an important figure in Irish literary and cultural history. 
How much will you give me? A fair question, bro. That is all I have to say. Fair enough. Thanks Could a lot, friend. Good to meet you, Mahavad.